Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ Savvy, the best thing ever. And right now, you're keeping it locked to one of my favorite channels, man. Where is the beef? That's what we're about. When you find it, cut me a slice. <laughs> Uh, DJ Savvy, I got this when I was still in grade 6, Mr. Muhammad. Now, he used to call me Uncle Savvy because um, I used to be like a dude, man. You see, when a teacher leaves a class, you used to write names, monitor everything. And he used to call me Uncle Savvy because I guess I was too grown up for my age until I got to grade 10. And, um, you know, I, I started doing research in the name. And actually, Savvy means the best thing ever. It's a pimp. It's the greatest thing in the world. It's literally the opposite of Shabby. And um, ever since, I've, I've used the name. And um, it's been great, man. DJ Savvy just made sense you know it's been big boy savvy the bb and savvy it's been king savvy it's been everything but dj savvy literally just um uh, rounds up what i'm about and what i do on a daily basis so yeah man that's that's how i came up with the name had it for a minute now yeah well started off on radio man at the age of 14 literally like radio introduced itself to me i used to be the dude who chills in the basketball court when the guys are gaming you know i'd be i'd be like yo dog that layup was whack like i'm sure i can do a bigger one now the catch is that i was a fat dude and obviously you know as fat guys if things we can't do we always have the best words to make you feel like we could do it better so i used to be that guy until one dude by the name of Futis Bia. now he was a manager of the of the radio station um at the center he said yo man how about you come through in studio and all this shit you saying how about you so say it on the mic i was like what this thing is stupid man you get into the studio you talk alone who's listening and literally you know i went for the audition and that's when the whole journey started in 2004 it was around uh april if i'm not mistaken and and that's where the journey started man at the age of 14 and then years went by came up to joburg 208 matriculated in 2007 i said yo man i, I want to further my education when it comes to radio because i just don't want to think i'm gonna get onto uh, onto on air and you know sometimes what you want is not your entry point you know i thought maybe my entry point would be news or production or whatever so just get my game up did that got my break on kfm in cape town high fell stereo and then um, finally joined yfm 992 in 2010 and literally the rest is history with tv i joined bonnie sanani in 2009 on acbc one and yeah man i've had a great run also with tv i did unplug on africa magic plus um now i'm getting cameos on rhythm cities i'm like my profile has really grown also on tv i'm doing commercials the list is crazy man but but yeah man it's been a freaking amazing ride my inspirations um i drew inspiration from from a lot of guys man when it comes to the industry but i grew up uh, looking up to to linda Sbia, you know for me his energy has always been crazy you know he's always just kept us going from day one as young people listening in the townships in case and then and you know he just made it feel like it's actually possible to make this thing come true because he used to sell nuts on the train that's how he made things happen and so when i came to joba again i got my break and in Sale george Koch, you know in my hostel in my dollar you know i was like literally like i guess this is my rags to richest story so i looked up to guys like that i look up to guys like dj fresh you know it's your cliche names when they pop up your fat joes um alex j guys that have created longevity when it comes to show business gary cliff and ryan secrets internationally you know how he's he's managed to make radio something bigger than just the platform itself and you know can you actually monetize this thing with with the followers and everything but 